Hello friends, today I'll be speaking on overview of fixed point iteration and a numerical analysis. My name once again is Isaac Amonoti Yowetu. I'll be talking on background of fixed point iteration, steps in solving fixed point iteration, performing iteration to find the approximate value and then we'll look at two good examples of the fixed point iteration. This fixed point iteration is a method that is used to compute a determined fixed point of a specific iterative function. The method gives rise to a set of sequences starting from x known so we get a convergent value which is the approximate value x star. The function under consideration must be continuous in order to give rise to a determined fixed point. And the fixed point x star can be satisfied if the, if the given function f of s can be expressed in terms of this. And then we will look at it into details. Given the function f of x, we will express the function f of x in terms of x minus new of x equal to zero. And then we finally write it in terms of this. Having gotten this, we obtain two functions, y1 and y2. And our y2 is the g of x that is of interest to us. So from here, what we are saying is the very point at which x and the g of x meet is from the graph. If, if, we, trace it, if we trace it from the graph, the very point at which the x and the g of x meet the x value at that very point is the solution of interest of which we we'll look at it from the graph as well. So looking at the graphical example, now we have our g of x function which is in the form of a curve and our y1 function also in a straight line. So with the initial guess here, we first of all consider the g of when you plug it in, it happens to this is the functional value here. This is the functional value. And when you trace it here, we help us. It crosses the x axis here, the x line here. And we happen to get our y1. We plug in our y1 into the g of x function here, which gives us the functional value here. So looking at the, the x, the y equal to the x line here, it, we trace it down here to get our x2. We continue this process until we happens to get so we fall on the x2 to get our x3 we fall on x3 to get x4 we continue this process until we happens to get a convergent value so looking at the, the this very point here where the x the y equal to x line crosses the g of x function here this very point when you trace it here is our actual x value that we are looking for but we might not be able to get the exact value, so we try as much as possible to perform the iteration to get an approximate value, which is close, to, which will be close to the exact value. We we'll use few examples to explain it into into details. So when you are given a function, of which we have to take an initial guess from this interval. First of all, we find the derivative of the g of x of the g of x and then when you get a value which is when you find the derivative with respect to the initial guess when it's less than one then we are sure that the g of x that we have chosen is a good one we may generate several g of x from the f of x function but to be sure that this the very g of x that we have chosen will help us to get a convergent value then we'll find the derivative, derivative with respect to the initial guess. The absolute of the absolute of it when it's less than one, then we are sure that the g of x is going to give a set of sequences that really converges. So this is a condition here that starting with the initial no, initial guess x naught to x one when we start with our iterative process, if the functional value here in terms of absolute this condition is true, then we are sure that our sequence is going to convert to a certain x, xn. 
and hence our g of x is a good one. If this condition fails, then what we are saying is our g of x, g of x will, xn will keep diverging. Hence, there is a need for us to reconsider choosing a different g of x from the f of x function. So, getting a good g of x, now we cannot go ahead to perform our iteration to get a convergent value. So, we plug in our g x0 into the g of x here to give us our x1. We plug in x1 to get x2. We continue this iterative process until we happen to get the, the convergent value, which is our x, xn plus 1. So when are we going to stop this iterative process? We have the error formula. This is the stopping criteria. We have the error formula. Of which under the error formula, we have the absolute error and the relative error. But one thing that we have to take notice is our x value here is known, which the true value is not known. That is the reason why we want to perform the iteration. So since we don't really know the true value, this error formula is not, of, it's not really used. It's not of direct use. So mostly we fall on this commonly used stopping criteria, which the difference between two successive terms, the absolute of it, when it's less than a certain epsilon or tolerance, then we can stop our iterative process when we are writing the computer program. We can also fall on this stopping criteria of this to stop our iterative process. So now we now want to look at example how to apply this fixed point iteration. So given an equation which is of this form, and we are to use the fixed point iteration, and this is the interval that is given to us. We first of all write rewrite the f of x function in terms of this, and having write the f of x function to this in terms of this, we express our f of x function as x equal to e to the power minus x to get our y1 and our y2, which our y2 is the g of x function. We find the derivative of it, which gives us this. We plug in our our, our choice. Okay, we, within this interval, we can pick any number. Any number within this interval, it can be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, but I choose 0 0.5. You can choose any number within this interval to do start with your iterative process. So finding the derivative with respect to my initial guess, 0 0.5, the absolute of it helps me to get a number which is less than 1. So since it's less than 1, then I'm, com I'm much confident that the g of x is a good choice and it's going to give me a sequence set of sequences that is going to converge. So now we continue with our treaty process. I plug in my initial guess, 0 0.5 here, which gives me this very value here, x1. I plug in my x1, substitute my x1 to the g of x, giving my x2. My x2 helps me to get, get x3. I continue this process until I get a convergent value. So here is the conclusion. After a successive iteration, the approximate value converges to x star, which is equal to this. So I want to look at example 2. Given this equation, Of which we the solution lies within this interval as well. Using the fixed point iteration with initial guess, this one the initial guess is already given. So we have to find the approximate root. To, to start with the process, we rewrite the f of x function in terms of this. Okay. And then you can straight ahead ignore writing it in terms of this and then do your manipulation to make x the subject as we have over here. So but I choose to write it in the in this term this form and then do my little manipulation to express my S of F of X in terms of this which is equivalent to this which is the same as this. So I get my Y1 which is equal to X and Y and Y2 which is equal to G of X and it's also equal to this. I find the derivative of the G of X which gives this and with my initial guess, I plug it in, which gives me a value which is less than 1. So hence, I'm much confident that the g of x is, is a good choice and it will help me to get a convergent value. So getting a good g of x, then I cannot start with my iterative process. 
I plug in my initial guess which is 1.5 and this 1.5 gives me my x1 s1 helps me to get my x2 and I continue until I get this convergent value so if it with the 99th iteration is the same as the 100th what the value obtained at the end of the 100th iteration so this and this is the final the conclusion so after a successive iteration the approximate value converges to 1.6180 we have now come to the end of this tutorial and I would like you to like, comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Please subscribe for more videos.